Praise the Lord, guys. Brother Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. Guys, Psalms chapter 2 really captures what's taking place right now. Basically stipulates, why do the nations rage? Why is there all this tumultuous, this upheaval, this, uh, this shaking of the nations? Why is this taking place? You know, when I played that video, I don't know for who heard it yesterday, you can go back on the channel of that missionary who's had boots on the grounds in Afghanistan for 20 years. He, he suggested that that region was the second fastest growing church in the world. And I started thinking to myself, that's why the enemy is manifesting to cause a disruption from keeping the advancement of the kingdom of God. He don't like when territory is being lost in his kingdom and being taken for the kingdom of God. So Psalms chapter 2, why do the nations rage? The people plot a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves, the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointing, saying, let us break their bonds in pieces. So I've got news for you. God is still the God over Afghanistan. Jesus is still Lord. The church is going to advance. If God is, if Jesus is Alpha and Omega, beginning and end, and everything in between, the Lord knew this was going to take place. And I'm not going to say there's always a reason why. I'm not like some hyper sovereignist. You know, there's always something that goes on and there's signs everywhere. But let's face it, the warfare that's taking place, the enemy knows a revival and a move of God is coming to Afghanistan. Hallelujah. Now, before I continue, it'd be an honor if you're new, please subscribe also. I'm live Mondays, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, live stream YouTube. Also live Zoom, 8 p.m. East Coast Time, live Zoom. I'll pin the ID and the passcode in the comments. Now listen to this scripture. Romans chapter 8 and verse 19. First of all, how many would agree with me? The nations are raging. If you see something like this, just in a week, just happen in a week. This didn't take, you know, obviously it was pre-planned. It was coerced from hell itself. But how many would agree with me? Hit the amen button, the like, the thumbs up if you see and perceive, discern the nations are raging. Why? Romans chapter 8 and verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. Many times before an awakening comes in a region, in a church, in an individual's life personally, a shaking comes. The Lord has to shake everything that can be shaken so that only he remains. So he allows an upheaval, a shaking. And all things work together for the good, hallelujah. And, you know, it's heartbreaking. It's very difficult to hear of stories of believers and brethren being martyred throughout the earth for their faith when we live an extremely overtly comfortable life in america i'm sure you'd agree with that praise the lord our heart goes out there's grace for them but you've got to say to yourself there was martyrdom in the bible 11 out of 12 disciples were martyred guys they were martyrs the lord told peter he says one day you're gonna you're gonna die like me with your hands spread out and, you know, Pete, it said that it said of, you know, theologians, Peter did. He said, I'm not worthy to be crucified right side up, but upside down. And he was crucified like the Christ, which was not uncommon back then, you know, crucifixion. So you got to say to yourself, why isn't there an, a, a, a revival predominantly in our churches in this nation? Because we're not we're not desperate enough. Revelation says you have need of eye salve. You're so complacent and lukewarm and backslidden. He said you have need of nothing. I, I'm going to put eye salve on your eyes because you're blind, wretched, naked, and poor. In Revelations, the Lord told that to one of the churches. So guys, the nations are raging, but out of it.
a revival and move is coming. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name.